this game. Now we're thinking, now we're thinking of portals. Yeah, <laughs> saltbox. Nah, we have our own stuff here. Fusion in the lab. But oh, actually, wait—he did change it. This game's over. I guess he heard us. <laughs> we're going to PS2. Well, working out from a skin perspective, but it's gonna be hard in order to, to beat Syrup in a matchup like this. He's taken out one of the best Robs in the world a couple of times over. But at the same time, you do have to worry about exhaustion and stamina, right? Syrup right. went to a bracket earlier today, won it, and now is playing in a second additional bracket against someone who is going to be a lot more fresh. You know, never mind though. Oh. Triple I'm nil, <laughs> triple nil, into up smash to take the stock out of a uh, off of a pickup on a missed tech on a platform, which is just purely a reaction test. You got it. Right. The the <laughs> counter argument to that that you know playing a bracket before is that he might be hella warm now, and of course winning that bracket too. So it's like, you know, Syrup's definitely pumped to 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 win this this uh tournament as well warp number five keep that under his belt nonetheless i mean greg house yeah greg house has been trying to put up a fight and hasn't been able to utilize not only his projectiles but that nair as well kind of just to break those blocks that anvil just that shield poke looked like it <laughs> the shield definitely came up it's just a matter of if uh, greg house decided to try and uh, jump uh, and right. was caught during the jump squat Brother, these nairs. The up smash didn't even initially connect, but Rob is just so big. And we're getting another one. The hard SDI away, though. Greg has not changing it up as uh, Sierra Pad initially predicted. Dude. Up and the anvil down, trying to recruit some resources. And as soon as you see movement, that's when the forward air comes out, reacting instantaneously for that three stock. Yeah. It was so difficult for Greg House because. You, you, you talked about how <clears throat> some of these hitboxes, they're quick, they're big for uh, Steve, and it doesn't help that Rob is combo food. Like, you know, it, it, and it doesn't help that Syrup has hella experience against a player like Zomba that we were alluding to earlier when this uh, set started, but that was interesting. I feel like he could have definitely done that. Maybe he didn't want to risk it with the, with the jump. But nonetheless, going back to PS2 after getting three stocks, so interesting choice. No, no, uh... What's it called? No counter pick. Yeah, no change of stage. Just trying to keep as much, uh, keep as many variables the same as possible, because you <laughs> can't do much worse than you did in the previous game. Like it was a three stop just above a hundred percentage. At the very least, here you're able to play a much longer stage. You're able to play that full game a little bit. See how that works for you, but. Man, it's just so tough using up smash as an extender and then chasing as well. And you've got plenty of resources to make it back. What a pickup there from Sierra. Jeez. All right. Speaking of pickup, Greyhouse needs to pick up at the pace here. It's so difficult when Sierra has just been dictating it this entire time. Just catching those landings with the up airs, looking for the anvil. And yeah, no, Sierra is, is on a roll. Every time I watch Syrup, I always think, like, man, he can't get better at this, right? He can't get this good at speed. Oh my god! Dude. And this many different tricks and traps, along with near faultless execution, the mix ups as well, uh, intertwining the grab game on top of Steve's insane buttons. Like, this is the game killing Steve that I think of. And it's syrup that puts it together better than any other Steve that I have watched he is dismantling a Greg House. Which is not easy to say because Greg House is a very, very good player, but it just feels like syrup is a tad bit better. And that just goes to like to show that what happens when you don't play this game as consistently as someone like Syrup, right? Because we talked about it earlier when Greg House was playing against Delta how he's been on and off, you know, coming coming by when he, when he can, and, you know, kind of prioritizing grinding. But against Syrup, it seems like that tactic just hasn't worked at all. Not the double three stock. Now the diamond tools are online. He's fresh and going for a ledge trump setup, mm. but it's just the up tilt in the back air to finish it off. Double three stock indeed. That time, was Syrup sub 100%? No, I think that time he was at 100. Okay, Maybe 117? So. Still a double three stock though, and that's uh, 
I think your theory is more correct than mine based on how uh, Sira <laughs> played there. He's very warm. <laughs> he is extremely. Ah, all right. We got information. So Greg hasn't played as often because Greg House uh, has a girlfriend and is focusing on his life more. So honestly, kudos to you. <laughs> oh, happy for him. Yes. We love to see it. Uh, we don't like to see that catch, though, because gosh, well, a syrup chasing down a Rob is just so funny to see. And it's just difficult, right? When you're playing against a guy of this caliber who's just reading every option, putting you in so many different scenarios that you kind of just have to jump. You kind of just have to roll and just fall for, you know, all these different setups. It's so difficult. And the mind and, and the mental strain that it causes, right? This character does. I wonder why we even tried to ban this character at this point. We can't even learn it. <laughs> so it's like the matchup's difficult. 